Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to be here. I'm literally vlogging for the first time in my new apartment. I'm loving it. I literally don't feel like I could be any more at home if I tried. It's so weird. I feel like it's probably because we've got all the same stuff from our old apartment in our new apartment. Like it literally just looks like the same place except different walls and a different building. But I'm loving it so much. I will give you a tour soon, I promise. I just think I'm going to wait until maybe Danny's home and we've got like furniture in that we want because we definitely want a dining table and we want like new coffee tables, potentially a new sofa and stuff. So once the place is fully furnished how we'd like it, then I'll definitely do you an apartment tour. But this video, I'm bringing you something slightly different, something I've not done before and something I was a little bit mm, umming and ahhing about doing because... It's not very me, you guys know me, um, but I'm going to do a bit of a glow up video because it's been a while since I sort of treated myself to a bit of self care, spent a bit of money on myself, on my hair, on my face, etc. So that's what we're going to be doing the next two days. I've got some appointments, well I've got one today um, and I've got two appointments tomorrow and in that I'm going to try and throw some other things in as well. So the plan today is... I'm getting my brows laminated and my lashes um, lifted. I'm getting LVR on my lashes. Basically, I'm obsessed with getting my brows laminated. I try not to do it that often, but I just feel like it changes my face completely. I'm also gonna try and get my nails done today. Obviously, I'm in a new area, so I'm trying to like locate all the best places to do all these things, find like my locals or like my go-to ones that I'm always gonna use. They're really not good. They were great, don't get me wrong, but um, there were gels and they've just started to come off now so I'm slowly picking away at them um, which is a really bad habit but I obviously desperately need to get my nails done because that is just unacceptable but again I feel like finding a nail place is quite hard I want just like a walk-in place we don't have to book like 20 quid or something to get gels done so I'm gonna have a little mooch around and try and find someone like that today so that's my plan today I'm fake tanning tonight that is an essential because I'm feeling like I'm just really pale at the minute it doesn't look like on here but i am in person really really pale tomorrow okay so something i've not told you guys about four years ago maybe even five years ago yeah it was probably about five years ago i got fillet in my lips i got half a mil to start then i went back like six months later and i got maybe another half a mil or a mil or something i can't remember um and at the time like it was fine it wasn't the best i literally had no lips like to me, I really did want the filler because I had, I was, this is me, that was me before filler. But I would say over the years, I don't know how much I can show you guys, you've probably already noticed from my videos anyway, but my lips are just not in a good way. The filler has basically migrated from my lip above my lip, like, so it's gone from here and it's like moved up. Um, oh, I don't know, you can't really see in this light. <laughs> Sorry, this is like so close up and personal, but above my lip there and like here, you can see that's like where the filler is and i thought filler dissolved after like two three years fully but it's been five years and i had an appointment the other day to be like what the hell's going on like is this my lip or is this the filler and she did like an ultrasound and she said it is still sat above my lip um which is why my lips probably look not a weird shape but like it's why they just don't really sit right so excitingly i'm having an appointment tomorrow to get that dissolved i'm gonna bring you guys along with me to that but i'm literally getting my lips dissolved and i don't have lips as it is do you know what i mean like fair enough if i was getting my lips dissolved and i already had quite a big lip but i don't have lips and i'm getting them dissolved so what is there going to be tell me and i probably will go back in about a month's time and get some more put in it, it, it depends what it looks like when they're dissolved to be honest like i can't imagine me liking it um because i don't like my lips how they are at the minute and i didn't like them before so i We'll get them dissolved, have a look at them, see what I think, and then probably go back and get, like, just a little top-up. My bottom lip's fine, I think. I don't hate my bottom lip, but tomorrow evening at about five o'clock, I'm going to see Emily, Emily Monk, to get my extensions put back in because I've had my extensions sat in my drawer now since, like, last August. I got them taken out last August. And because I live so far away, it was such high maintenance to, like... I always like to do it with Emily. I like to get my extensions in and then whenever I wanted them refitted or my hair doing, I'd obviously have to come two hours down to Manchester to get them refitted. And it just wasn't worth the hassle. But now I'm here um, and I'm literally 20 minutes away from where she is. I feel like I can keep that more up to scratch and yeah, just stay on top of it more. So I'm so excited to get my hair extensions back in. I do feel like my hair is quite healthy at the minute the way it is. Like it's definitely a lot thicker and um, it's 
not in bad condition at all. I'm just so dark. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, thinking back to like, um, maybe when we went on the cruise, that vlog, if you guys watched that, my, I, was, I was so blonde then. I was literally like bleach blonde. That is my plan for the next few days. I don't think there's anything I've missed off. Um, it is a real glow up two days. Like I'm hoping in two days you won't recognize me. <laughs> I've just chucked some stuff on to go to the gym because I'm going to try and squeeze in a quick gym session now and then once I've finished, have a wander around and try and find somewhere to get my nails on. I think there is somewhere around the corner, but you know when you just don't know what it's like until you get there. So I'm going to get there, have like a peep and then figure out if I'm going to go there or not. But I've just got some um, yoghurt, strawberries, banana and honey as my little mid-morning snack. It's about 11 o'clock now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I will take you with me. I'm just coming on and interrupting this video because my favorite delivery of the week has arrived. Yes, my favorite delivery is HelloFresh. That may be sad, but I'm a foodie. I love food. So this is very exciting for me. It's also very exciting because I can never, ever, ever remember what I've ordered that week to come. Like what three meals I've ordered. I don't know why it just never computes in my brain what I've ordered. So whenever I open this up, it's like a big surprise as to what's gonna come. So I've just cut it open now, it's literally just arrived. In the box, I'll show you, it looks like this. Okay, I'll pick out my recipe cards. So I've got, oh my gosh, I see a naan bread, which is a good sign. Ultimate creamy chicken korma and basmati rice. Next one I've got is a bacon and mushroom risotto. That looks insane, looks like this. A super quick penne beef ragu, looks like this. Everything I've ordered has pretty much got mushrooms in it because Danny hates mushrooms. And then you could also pick a side. So for the side, I picked loaded wedges. And they look like this. It says it takes 35 to 40 minutes. So all I'll do is look at the number here, 36. So I'll just grab bag number 36. All the meat comes in a separate bag that's got um, ice blocks in it. And it's like an insulated bag just to keep it cool. I always used to wonder that when people order for HelloFresh. I was like, how does the meat stay fresh? But it's in an insulated bag with loads of ice blocks in it. If I can do anything to get people onto HelloFresh, because I have never, ever, ever tasted meals quite like it. Every single meal I have, this is no exaggeration, I think I've got from a restaurant. Like, they taste that nice that I think I'm a Michelin star cook and I've cooked it and it's in a restaurant. So on the recipe cards as well, all the ingredients that should be in the bags are down the side here. And then there is always, always, only ever six steps on the back, which is so simple to follow. All the nutritional information as well is down the side on here. And then it also tells you up here what utensils you're gonna need. So for tonight's dinner, I'll need saucepan, garlic press, bowl and baking tray. So I always order um, three meals a week for two people you can only pick it for two people but that suits me absolutely fine because i tend to have what i'm having for dinner for lunch the next day so i split it into two portions and i have it for lunch the next day which works really well for me at the minute with danny not being here but i only ever order three meals a week you can pick specific categories you can pick like calorie smart ones you could pick family dinners you could pick vegetarian meals um like quick cook ones ones that only take 20 minutes i wonder if these any of these only take 20 minutes yeah so this um Penne, for example, is in the rapid section because it only takes 20 minutes to cook. Sometimes it's even quicker, especially when you're like so familiar with the recipe cards. I can literally cook some of the meals in like 10, 15 minutes. It's so good. So yeah, I'm gonna unpack my HelloFresh box now, put it all into the fridge, or put what needs to go into the fridge into the fridge. You can do one thing. I honestly would just try it because they are the yummiest, yummiest meals and it's the most convenient thing. Literally, the food gets dropped off your door and you can cook a meal in 20 minutes. Let me just show you an example quickly. So in 36 tonight, it says I need one green chilli and you can't go to the shop and buy one green chilli. You always have to buy a pack of green chillies. However, in here, I'm telling you, there will be one green chilli. It's as easy as that. So it's literally not a single bit of waste. Everything that is in this bag will get cooked and eaten. I obviously have a discount code for you guys. I always, always have a discount code for you guys, which I'll leave on the screen. I'll leave all the details in the description box below as well. And trust me, order it because you won't regret it. I don't know what to do because I've just been to the gym and um, just picked up a little snack, sushi, and I've just smashed in this hoisin duck wrap. But I just went to the place I was planning on getting my nails done and it's closed and then i've just googled places around here and they all seem to be closed and also i googled some like other places and looked at the price just to get gel nails and it's like 45 pounds i don't think that's normal is it that was a good thing about where i used to live like 
I knew a nail place and you could just walk in, they were always available and it was literally 15 pounds to get my nails done and I'm struggling to find somewhere here. I actually spoke to a girl I know that lives around here as well and she said she literally can't find anywhere to get her nails done. I know Molly has a lady come in to do her nails in her house but like obviously I don't want that, I just want to walk in and get my nails done so that's not looking promising at the minute. I, what I might have to do is call up today and book somewhere for tomorrow unless I got it done after my brows and lashes which is in like half an hour anyway so I've probably not got time to get my nails done but I'm gonna um just eat this sushi now in the car I don't know why right but it's like my guilty pleasure to get food um whether it be like McDonald's or like I've just done nipped into Aldi and picked up some lunch and sit in the car and eat it and like people watch a lot of the times like if me and my friends have been out for the night or we just want a McDonald's we'll get it and just sit in the car and people watch um I was like our favorite thing so I'm really struggling to open this sushi yeah but this glow up video is going really well if anything I've probably glowed down since you last saw me because I'm sweaty and horrible from the gym I just did like how long did I do but I think I did like 40 minutes just some back and biceps I'm going to a gym called the gym group it's basically like pure gym but it's called the gym group like they're all sort of quite similar it's like a big commercial gym basically um I'm paying like 20 pounds a month I am tempted to treat myself to like a nicer gym do you know what I mean like you know the more quiet ones but I just don't really want to spend 40 50 60 pounds on a gym membership when there's one literally around the corner from me um for 20 quid so that's the gym that I'm using at the minute no issues with it at the minute I'm really enjoying it it's change of scenery as well and change of location for me it's given me so much motivation I was definitely flagging um up in Catrick where we used to live with like motivation and being in the same gym all the time so this has definitely definitely helped I am probably when I get my brows done quite light at the minute I've literally got nothing on them but I'm going to ask them quite dark if you had your brows done before you'll know that the colour literally goes like within a couple of days really so I tend to get them quite dark so they're dark for like a good couple of days and then after a couple of days they're the colour that I actually want them let's head to get my lashes and brows done see if they'll squeeze me in 20 minutes early Good evening, I'm back home now. Brows are laminated, lashes are lifted. But yeah, I'm home now and I am going to do a little bit of, where is she? A little bit of tanning. I swear by it, I haven't picked up or touched or even sniffed another tanning brand since um, she bought this one out. And it's not because I'm biased, it's literally not. It's just because it's the best one out there. And I actually do sometimes do two layers of the extra dark. People always message me asking what shade of tan that I use um, because they're worried that it might be too dark. I'm not the most tanned people but I definitely feel like I can get away with using extra dark. I've tried the medium, it just gives me a very light coverage but when I tan I do like to put quite a dark layer on um, and I'll probably put like, yeah I might put two layers on tonight because it lasts so long with me as well. I'm just going to tan my legs I think on camera and then go off camera to do the rest because I've literally got nothing else underneath her. And I need to take my shorts off too. Um, what should I stand on? This is me currently, this is my legs currently, quite pale. In fact, honestly, I think the palest they've ever been. I like to do both my legs first. Anyway, so that works out quite well. In here, I've got, oh my God, this is brand new. Wow, the luxury of a brand new mitt. Um, I have a brand new mitt, these mitts as well. Oh my God, they look like the softest thing. You could sleep on them, I swear to God. And then I also have I've used this, um, the little face mitt, which I probably will tan my face tonight. Some people are scared to put um, tan on their face, but if I'm using this tan um, on my body, I will just put it on my face. It's only I'll use the spritz me if I'm just doing my face. Really good shake, because it's new. Okay, I put about, oh, straight out. One, two, three. About three and a half pumps onto the mitt. And that should do like, the majority of my leg, I'd say. I always start at the bottom, on my shins, work around the back. Such a nice colour. I'll do you a little comparison in a minute once I've done my full leg. And then the same again, just to finish off the top half of my leg. I'm always just really careful when I'm going over like knees and elbows and stuff. Try not to put too much on then. Should we get my back? I think I'll probably just do 
one layer today because I am so pale it's going to be quite um it's going to make quite a change I think just this one layer if this leg has one layer of fills my money mate extra dark and this one has nothing so I'm going to finish doing this leg and then do the rest of my body and I'll come back to you okay I've tanned my body and just slipped on my PJs I'm going to quickly show you how I tan my face because um everyone does it differently and I'm quite brave, I, I just put it on my face, like some people do, but some people are a bit too scared to put tan straight on their face, but I'm lucky I don't have that sensitive skin, and um, I've been doing this really for as long as I can remember of putting tan on my face. I honestly put like the tiniest, tiniest dab on here, let me show you, literally like that, and then, as quickly as I can, I just go dab, 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 and just rub it all in and it blends out really nice I've never ever woken up with any issues from doing this just make sure it's in all the corners all your hairline under your nose under your eyes sorry my brows do look a little crazy because they are quite dark but they'll be fine tomorrow <laughs> make sure you blend it down into your neck and that will literally be my face tanned in the morning. Easy as that. That is stage one of glow up day. I mean, I literally, other than my brows and lashes, I really don't look that much different. So um, it's not a substantial glow up yet. We're not making drastic changes, it's gradual. Tomorrow we've got lips, which I'm terrified for, and my hair, and I might try and squeeze my nails in. My mum's actually coming up tomorrow for a couple of days. I think she might be staying here. So that'll be fun, we can do some cute things. But yeah, I'm gonna make a cup of tea, have some digestive biscuits to dunk in it, and I'll speak to you all in the morning. Bye bye. I'm a bit sad this morning because I've still got a bit of a sore throat. I thought I was going to wake up this morning feeling like 100% better, but I've definitely still got a sore throat. I was meant to go to a running club last night, but I didn't because I'm still not feeling. Look, hear me. Oh my God. <coughs> Surely I'm better now. Well, anyway, I've made myself my normal smoothie this morning. Hopefully this will make me feel a bit better. I started adding prunes in it, actually. I think it just makes it a bit sweeter and prunes are good for you. But this is the colour of me this morning. I thought I'd just give you a little tan update before I crack on with the day. Also, I've just washed my hair. Um, it's actually clean <laughs> for once. I've just washed it, um, but I'm just letting it dry naturally this morning whilst I do a few house bits. But let me just show you the colour of me. Also, how cute is this set? I think it's from a place called Lorem. Lorem, L-O-R-E-M. Yeah, they sent it to me on Instagram. It's really cute. Um, but yeah, this is my tan this morning. Literally can't fault it. I could honestly do my tanning routine with my eyes closed, so easy and literally never ever goes wrong. Color of my hands, obviously excuse my nail, my wrist, like everything's just perfect. Absolutely love the color of it. And as, as you can see on my face as well, like I've got a bit of a glow. Um, I just brush my brows through, but nothing too crazy going on with my face. So yeah, super happy with my tan and how that's turned out this morning. Just put my bedding on to wash, as you saw. Um, because as much as I wore like long sleeve pyjamas, it still does transfer onto the bedding a tiny bit like on my face. Um, but I needed to wash my bedding anyway because I've been super poorly and have a night sweat. So I just chucked that in and it needs a really good two hour long wash. Also, what do you think of the lighting in this apartment compared to my last one? Because to me it's second to none and the walls being like, they're not fully white, but I think they're like, an, they're like a gray, like an off white gray. I think, and everything just being white, I think adds to the lighting so much more. It was definitely a big selling point on this apartment was like just how bright and light it is in here. The windows are absolutely huge. It's nine o'clock now. My lip appointment is at 11.15. I was tempted to go to the gym between now and then, but I just think, cause I'm still, I've still got such a sore throat. I don't know what's the right thing to do. Um, if I do, I'll bring you along with me. If not, I will see you at my lip appointment, which I'm terrified for, but excited for. 
I've arrived at my lip appointment guys, I'm just about to go now. So I'm going to, it's called KP Aesthetics. Um, very lovely lady that's about to do my lips, I'm so scared. Uh, Let's just get it rolling then. Okay. <laughs> We're doing it guys, it's time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I'm not normally nervous for anything like this. I'll just take your makeup off and we'll do the ultra sound aspect of it. Actually, you've got like, you just dark, you can't see much. I faked tan last night. Oh, right. Doing a bit of a glow up video. <laughs> you look like you've been on holiday. Yeah. It's not even a, you know, some of these tans can be fine. <laughs> this, guys, let me see if I can show it on the tripod. This is the ultra sound of my lips. So this is my teeth here. And am I right in saying yeah, that this bit is here, bit that's the, the filler, yeah. the dark patches there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Excellent. You okay? Yeah. Does it feel uncomfortable? No, it's fine. Okay, so. I just shred. I'm going to be a bit of It's actually fine now. It's actually not as bad as I thought, John. Did it sting at all? Not sting, no. No. So what you could tend to find is probably a little bit of swelling initially. That's fine. And it will settle. Oh yeah. Can you see it? It's still a little bit yeah. swollen, but by by tomorrow you will see the difference. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so I'll do that again mm -hmm. on the other side. It's finally hair day. I can't remember if I mentioned, but my hairdresser was really sick, so she had to rearrange. So it is quite a few days later now, but it's hair day and I am so excited. I'm running a little bit late, so I'm going to drive there now and you'll see what it looks like after. Guys, I am so blonde. I have missed this so much. So, so much like you wouldn't believe. I cannot believe how blonde I am. I didn't think I could go that blonde, wow. Literally, the, probably the biggest hair transformation I've ever had because I left it so long before and I was so dark. It looks like a huge difference, but I've actually been this color before. I'm sure I have, I must have been, but it just feels so blonde because it's been so long. And I've got like so much hair. I love it so much. I'm literally so happy with it. Believe it or not, it is four days later. I do look slightly different. Um, except my nails, but we won't talk about that. But I'm still poorly. I'm actually, I think I've got like a new illness now. So before I had the flu where I was like cold and shivering, my body was aching, but now I've just got a really, really bad cold. Um, and I think I've got that from Molly. I'm literally so happy with my hair. Like I'm so happy with everything. I just need to get my nails done, but I'm gonna leave that because I'm going home to see my mum this weekend and I know there's somewhere where my mum lives that I like to go. So I'll just go there probably before I go away on holiday next week with my friend. We're just going to Portugal for four nights, which would be so nice. But I wanted to come on, show you a little lip update as well. Um, because I've just been editing it back. My camera died halfway through that appointment. I never actually showed you like the finished lip results. You probably can't tell much difference. Actually, you can see a little bit. Um, they're still not fully, fully dissolved, I don't think. Here, like, that's where a lot of the migration was, but it's not there at all now, which is really good. They just look and feel a little bit smaller, which is funny, to be fair. But with me going away and with Danny coming back in one month, literally one month now, um, I wanted to start making myself feel a bit more presentable, not just for him, but just for me as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. I'm so sorry it has been quite a long time, but as I said, I've just been really run down and, and so much has been going on with the house stuff, so please forgive me, but I'm gonna get back on it now. If you got to the end of this video, thank you ever so much, and I'll see you very, very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.